Welcome to Kichikan. Kichikan is known as Alaska's first city due to its location at the southern tip of the Inside Passage. It is the first city you reach as you cruise north and for many visitors, the first introductions to the beauty and majesty of Alaska. Welcome back to my channel guys, Ken from Travel the World with Torkin. If you are new from my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my travel experience. Enjoy watching Ken from Travel the World with Torkin. Kichikan is an Alaska city facing the Inside Passage, a popular cross route along the state's southern coast. It known for its many Native American totem poles on display throughout the town. Nearby Misty Fjords National Monument is a glacier curved wilderness featuring snow caved mountains, waterfalls, and the salmon spawning strips. It also home to rich wildlife including black bears, wolves, and about eagles. Ten miles north of Kichika is the Tutim Beath State Historical Park. An 11 hectare park that is packed with a restored and recurved totems, as well as all the colorful community houses. Just as impressive as the totems at the park lost rainforest city and in the rocky coastline along Tongas Narrows. A short walk from downtown to Kichikan is the Tutim Heritage Center, established in 1976 to preserve the 19th century Tutim Poles retrieved from the uninhabited Lingit and Haida village site nearby. Those magnificent original poles are displayed at the center along with the detailed descriptions of their history, an encography, and other Alaskan native. Totem poles often stand between 5 to 30 feet tall, though some blooms taller than 100 feet. Each is a sacred and an original, carved with the symbols like ravens, eagles, an owl fish, and the frogs, beavers, and the bears, plant, and people. So when a tree is cut down or falls down and leaves behind a stump like this one, uh, as the wood starts to decay, it becomes a really fertile place for new trees to start growing. So you'll see all those little tiny trees growing out of that one.
totem poles were not worshipped by the natives or considered religious in any way. They were built to tell the stories, myths, and the legends and commemorate events including births, marriages, anniversaries, death, or a shameful act. By the 1800s, this clan house is that Lingit and Hilda Indians of Southeast Alaska had developed a very sophisticated and highly stratified society. This clan house is a natural setting similar to historic Lingit and the Hilda villages, along with the surroundings of totem art, interprets Southeastern Alaska native social customs, technology, and art. The interior one large room has a square fire pit and platform against the wall. Several families would have shared the house, each allotted space but using the common fire. The structure is one of the three replicas in southeastern Alaska constructed between 1933 and 1941 by the Civilian Conservation Corps. On October 27, 1970, Tutimbit State Historic Park was listed in the National Regist Registered of Historic Places. Nowadays, they use modern paint, uh, but they stick to their traditional color. Aside from yellow, yellow is kind of the first color that became available to them later on, and so sometimes they'll still use What is special about the totem pole? A totem pole typically pictures symbolic and stylized human, animals, and supernatural forms. Totem poles are primary visual representations of the kinship, depicting family skills and the clan membership. How many totem poles are in Kichikan, Alaska? With over 80 Native Americans totem poles located in Kichikan, Alaska, it seems you can't go a few blocks without seeing one. Totem poles are just one Kichikan, Alaska's attraction not to be missed. There are several totem poles located in the walking tour. But one thing not to be missed in the viewing the incredible Alaska Native art and a Native American totem poles and Kichikan is the one of the most totem poles in Alaska. Eleven thousand six hundred years old are the oldest totem pole in Kichikan, Alaska. How the totem pole made of? The totem pole, also known as a monumental pole, is the tall structure carved out of a cedar wood created by the Northwest Coast Indigenous people to serve various as a signboard, genealogically record and memorial, some well-known carvers including Mungo Martin, Charles Eden Shaw, Henry Hunt, Richard Hunt, and Stanley Hunt. The oldest totem pole named the Shiger Idol. A nine-foot-tall totem pole is the oldest known wooden sculpture and the earliest known work of the ritual arts. Views on the head of the Shiger idol preserved in the Sverlovs Regional Museum in Russia. Why only tribes from this region? This art form was limited to the regions where trees were very large and plentiful. The name of this art form, Tutin Pool, is derived from the Algonquan word Uduudim, meaning his kinship group. The figures carved on a Tutin Pools often depict characters from the tribal legends. Animals are often curved to the pools, or carvings on a Tutin Pools can be symbolic meanings which can be complex. Tourist shops often sell small-scale replicas to the tourists in these areas. Making a totem pole is an extremely labor-extensive process. 
The huge pools were entirely cared by hand. The paint was then handmade and applied. Although the city of Kichikan covers only 5.9 square miles, it is one of the largest city in Alaska with one of the highest population, a little over 8,000 residents. The Creek Street and the Brothels Married men thrills when asked when we were told that men would sneak along this trail through the woods to reach the brothels on the creek street below undetected. The creek was lined with as many as 30 brothels between 1903 and 1953. It was Kichikan, the red light district, while prostitution was profitable in many towns along the inside passage. Starting 1900, Kichikan had an advantage and the northbound vessels were required to stop in the first city. While you're in town of Kichikan, be sure to catch the Lumberjack Show, during which Lumberjack showed their strength and agility while throwing the axes, climbing 50-foot trees, or rolling on the logs on the water. This is my some clips about the Lumberjack Show and don't even even miss the show while you're in town in Kichika. Enjoy watching! This white church and this whole block right here is uh, 
was the first female missionary in the area, Agnes Edmonds. So they named Edmonds Street after her. See Ann Salmon come upstream to spawn. <laughs> and Dolly was a prominent member of the community until 1970 when she passed away. Now you can see some of the totem poles have similar uh, stories to the ones we talked about. Raven and the Sun at the top of this one. And then they also have some carvings inside this museum as well. The leader isn't what you would expect in Ichikan and other parts of Alaska. Rain is called liquid sunshine because Kechikan is surrounded by the Tungas rainforest. It rains often and unexpectedly. In fact, it frequently rains even when it's sunny and warm. So don't be even surprised by rain even on a sunny day. Thank you for your love and support on my channel. Feel free to leave your comments about what did you saw or any feedbacks that will help my channel to improve in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell so that you will be notified if I uploaded my new travel experience video. Stay safe and take care.